After the fight, it's time for Nick to make a decision. On the spot, he decides how to change his plans. He decides that both Tony and Steve have passed the warning stage and that they will both receive write-ups along with a week without pay. Nick informs both Tony and Steve of his decision and obviously they protest. Tony says, what? No fair. And Steve says, this sucks. Nick, however, lays down the law and says that his decision is final. And he warns them that if they continue to argue or fight in front of any Avengers Gym customers, that they will be terminated. He really stuck firm and held his decision, unlike he had done, unlike anything he had done in the past few episodes. Then Nick brings in Sam and Wanda. He has all the employees meet in the break room and establishes the ground rules for the Avengers employees. He lists the expectations that all Avengers gym employees must meet in order to remain employees there. Now that everybody's on the same page, Nick establishes that the team will have weekly meetings to monitor and check in on these various requirements that he's outlined and objectives for the gym. One week later, the Avengers employees can be seen in the break room having a successful team meeting. Nick makes sure to outline that in the end, the employees will clean the equipment with towels at the end of the night, but they will have wipes for customers to use during the day. He also stresses that indoor voices will be used at all times, and if anybody has any issues, that they should try to work them out with each other first, and if, unnecess and if that's not possible, then they should meet with Nick. This conclusion goes to show that when a manager puts his foot down and makes a final decision, he is able to get his staff to fall in line. And this is the conclusion of the Avengers Gym TV show.